the water show. I know you like the sound of it. Uh -huh. I know you love the style of it. Now sit back, here comes the water show. show. All I gotta say is I love the word bitch. Remember me still hating on Tendo shit. Uh -huh. Three years later, uncharged shits on Gears of War. Now I don't gotta say I hate it no more. Woo! Same review who loves to say son of a bitch became a YouTube star. Still don't own the car. Uh -huh. You want a review, you don't gotta look far. I prove once again these sites ain't on par. Let's go! The story isn't amazing in this game. Basically, this guy named Waylon is uh, creating xenomorphs or the aliens from aliens, and uh, the predators don't like that, so the predators go after them. At the same time, the humans that are good guys go after him because he's bad, and the aliens are just basically there to kill whatever's in their way because they have to, uh, you know, work for their queen and kill anything that fucks with them. Overall, it's not the greatest story, and the narrative for the aliens is basically nothing. Similar to the Predators, actually. The Marines is basically the only one with a real decent story. However, uh, what I do like is that all the events coincide with each other. So, whatever you do with a Predator, the area that you are with the human or the alien, you'll remember that you did with the Predator leading to those events. So, it's kind of cool and definitely uh, combines all the stories together. And that's nice. But, uh, overall, the story's not great. But, just like the movies, it's there just to see the action going on. Well, here comes the graphics, and he's probably the weakest part of Alien Rush Predator, yet it's not that bad, as the reviewers are making it out to be. Uh, the designs are great. Everything looks good. The aliens look like aliens, the predators look like predators, and the marines look like big muscle, you know, steroid motherfuckers. Hell, in multiplayer you can unlock skins, which, you know, fans of aliens and predators and even marines will like, so that's definitely cool. Um, as far as the raw power, yeah, it could use some work. The explosions don't look amazing. The, you know, details to the ground and the walls and everything are kind of outdated. And even the animations are a little wonky, but it's not that bad. And it doesn't look like a 2002 game. It looks like a next-gen game, just a lower budgeted one. But at the same time, if you're a fan of this, you won't even care. You'll just love the designs. And this game really stays true to the design of Alien vs. Predator. In the gameplay section, you get to play three different species, alien, predator, and humans. The easiest one to explain is the humans. It's the basic run-of-the-mill shooting the shit out of whatever's coming your way. You have a gun, or you can pick up a shotgun, pick up a machine gun that locks on targets, flamethrower, so on. And you use these guns to fight off hordes of aliens and predators. There's nothing really amazing about it, and the single player is just straightforward. Kill, 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 get to the end of the level. But overall, it works, and it's actually fun, and the sounds and everything from the movie and the look of it is great. However, Marines are Marines, and the motion tracking system is what they do best. Just motion track them and shoot them. The Alien, which is probably bringing up the most controversy because of the controls of it, is probably the class everybody either loves or hates. Basically, you can climb on walls with the aliens. This makes the camera all types of crazy when you're climbing up walls and sides of walls and people are going crazy and puking on their friends. But overall, if you get used to the controls, aliens are a blast to play as you move at like lightning speed, you get to see everything through walls, and basically you're the sneaking class. And sure, you can die really fast, and you have no far range weapons, but if you did, then where's the balance, you know what I'm saying? Aliens is a fun class to play as, though a little chaotic, and I don't blame people for disliking it because of the controls and the feel of it, but once you get used to it, the aliens are also a blast to play as. And who doesn't love to stick their tail in someone's eye? I mean, it's just, it's disgusting, but also. And the last class is the Predator, and the Predator is full-on stealth. You go invisible, you can jump uh, wall to, not wall to wall, but platform to platform, and you basically have far range and close range weapons. So the Predator seems like the best. However, the Predator isn't as fast as the alien, it doesn't have a weapon to start off at uh, far range. So basically, you're stuck with this close range fighter until you can find something, and that's where the stealth comes in. And if you work well enough as a Predator, he can become one of the most deadly classes. And it's a blast to play as the Predator. I mean, who doesn't like to cut off heads? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Cut your fucking head off and ask where you headed off to. Get it? Headed off to? So yes, there is a learning curve. And that might be too much for some people, and I don't blame you. Some people just like the steady, old-fashioned, shoot-em-up type gameplay like Halo, Battlefield, Call of Duty. And that's all for you. 
But if you take the time to invest and use all three species and get used to them, it's a blast to play. But yes, it is feeling a little outdated, and the Marines could use some work to advance their weaponry. And all, overall, it could use some new additions, but overall, it is a blast to play. And playing as all three species makes it that you don't get bored of one. So I really enjoyed the gameplay section of this game. Now, with three separate campaigns for the single player, the game seems like it focused on single player. But don't, don't get confused. This is a multiplayer game. It is fun single player, except for the ending of Aliens campaign. That was just, ugh. But besides that, everything else is a multiplayer game. The single player is fun, and each one can be beaten within two to five hours, matter what difficulty you play on. But that's just there to get you used to each species. The real fun comes in the multiplayer. And once you get into a match of, uh, you know, species deathmatch, or even just plain old deathmatch, or the predator hunt, or infant station, any of these will really just bring out the fun, and the multiplayer is a blast to play, you know, hunting down one predator as a bunch of marines, or going head to head with aliens and predators as your humans, anything like that with friends is just a blast. And you're going to enjoy it. So let's recap real fast. You got three campaigns to play through, plus plenty of multiplayer options, plus more are coming and more maps. And you get to unlock skins and ranks. So really, this game for an Alien vs. Predator fan is perfect. For everybody else, you might want to pass on this because it may not be up to you know par with your shooting standards. However, Alien vs. Predator fans, I have no doubt that you're going to enjoy this game. And I would suggest picking it up right now. Oh!